let us continue with Jesus' resurrection. I will explain to you the historical integrity of Jesus' resurrection. It's not normal for a person to rise from the dead. When people we know die, they do not come back to life. When our family and friends uh, die, we do not see them again. Not so with Jesus and his disciples. After Jesus dies, he reappears to his disciples in physical form. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the four New Testament Gospels, and they all test that Jesus rose from the dead. You should be aware that there are discrepancies in the accounts, but this is common of any story told by different people. Human beings rarely tell the same exact story of a specific event. We often provide different details. The specifics about Jesus' appearance of the specific, the specific appearances of Jesus differ the specifics. The specifics about the appearances of Jesus differ. However, all the accounts relay the message, the same message, that the disciples are ultimately convinced they saw Jesus in flesh and bones. You should also be aware that in some of the accounts, Jesus' followers did not recognize him at first. Perhaps his followers were just so full of grief at his death. Perhaps it was doubt in their hearts. Perhaps something more is being implied. It's a bit of a curiosity. Nonetheless, his followers, his followers were ultimately convinced it was Jesus who reappeared to them. The disciples are our link to Jesus' resurrection. I'll repeat that. The disciples are our link to Jesus' resurrection. After Judas betrays Jesus, there are 11 disciples. All 11 disciples are tortured and 10 disciples are martyred killed, saying they saw the risen Christ. They all agree they saw a risen Jesus. And they all suffered horrific, violent deaths with that conviction. It's not like they were planned it. They planned to die and made a deal amongst themselves. They were not like a football team in a huddle telling how they were going to die with that conviction. They all died violently, but they, all, but they never let go of their witness to Jesus. No one could fake that moment or die with that lie, especially a total of 11 men with similar stories. It's hard to deny their convictions and deaths as testimony to what they saw. The disciples, witnesses, and martyrdoms are the historical integrity of the resurrected Jesus. I'll repeat that. The disciples, witnesses, and martyrdoms are the historical integrity of the resurrected Jesus. So it's not blind faith. There's good reason to believe that Jesus, that Jesus actually physically rose from the dead. The disciples, the disciples are the basis for the historical integrity of Jesus' resurrection. And if Jesus can rise from the dead, anything is possible.